Hello again, uh, the same project, day number three, and uh, let's talk a little bit, you know. I have some uh, comments from uh, some radio amateur. You know, radio ham guys, they are really, really clever with antennas and amplifier and all these, uh, you know, feed lines and cables and adapters and filters and, you know, everything what means uh, radio uh, reception and, of course, transmission. A good advice is to have the amplifier next to the antenna or near the antenna before the cable. Well, that might work. If you have a long cable, that will supply an extra boom and uh, keeps the, the level high but um, I'm just thinking the cable itself sometime it can be an antenna okay you have a strong signal at the, at the input of the cable of the feeding line but going down it can also grab some noises or interference you know from the other radio sources on the way some other stuffs I found today uh, people ask me if if I just use uh, an amplifier only for the Eric's path, if it hurts the takes, then you know the transmission of a minor. No, because uh, especially with this kind of uh, amplifier, with this kind of amplifier here, nothing can go wrong. The impedance is 50 ohms. And uh, not only that, but also the output of this IC, it's almost short to ground. I don't know, it's very interesting. And something else, and I'm really sad to say about that. Most of these amplifiers are fakes. Well, I checked that. And uh, I think the people are absolutely right about that. Because the original CPF... 5189, which now is out of uh, production, long ago, in fact, out of production. Let's say we have this IC, that's the way it's looking like. Three pins, 5189. It's looking like this. This goes to ground, and also it's the thermal connector somehow. And we have uh, three pins here. This is ground also. Pin number one, two, and three. Okay, if we measure here, it's almost three, four ohms or something, almost short to ground. But if we measure here in relation with the ground, we should have a resistance of around one mega ohm for the original. Unfortunately, most, 99.9% .9 of the amplifiers on the market today, they are built with fake ICs. I bought a lot of ICs like that, and uh, I just find out that they are fakes. I mean, they are working fakes. This is interesting, but that's why somehow the signal is not the right one. So. What can I say? But I, I will still continue the experiment anyway, because it proves, it proves capabilities of uh, boosting the signal or having a gain. Well, that's what I found. I'm not betting on that because I've been trying all day long to check this information. I couldn't find any other details about this uh, particular circuit CPF 5189 so if you got any extra information about what values should we have here you know measuring in between pins please let me know and let us know also okay let's get to the business what can I say people what can I say today it's a sad day I mean a really sad day. If you remember days ago, I said that the network is alive. The network is changing every hour. The network is it's very unpredictable. So yesterday it was looking 
Okay, coming up, you know, running and look here. So I got nothing, nothing at all. The last witness at Beacon, it was 11 hours ago. So how can you, how can you have an experiment with this kind of network? So I'm sorry, but it's almost nothing to, to say about this today. Uh, okay, let's, let's see. Let's see some hotspots anyway. Let's see some hotspots. Okay. So this one was, this one uh, at one o'clock in the night. Butterfly, my neighbor. Same story like yesterday, 5.5 dB. Very good noise ratio. RSSI minus 100. This is somehow funny. This was like five days ago with 11 dB. Minus 11 dB is signal ratio. Seven days ago, minus 15, and suddenly, you know, and not suddenly, it was, you know, 10 days ago, 6.8 dB. It's, it's, it's strange. It's strange. All right, five o'clock in the morning, cyborg, minus 16. Six days ago, it was minus 9.5. Same RSSI, but different uh, noise ratio. 9.8, eight days ago, and minus 11, 15 days ago. So what can I say? It's the same league. Uh, what else? Dragonfly, minus 13 today, minus 9.8, four days ago. I'm only talking about the signal noise ratio. That's what we need. Minus 2.2, eight days ago. Minus 9.8. Ups and downs, ups and downs. And today minus 13. So I can clearly say the amplifier is not working. The antenna is bad. His antenna is bad. Who knows? His or hers or it better. Um, Mungus. Okay, uh, Mungus, I, di I didn't saw it. Uh, it's a new one. It's a new one with minus 13.2 at five uh, or 3.5 kilometers away, minus 132. Mm. Okay, pretty, pretty understandable signal, I may say. And the last one for today. At eight in the morning, uh, sown, we saw that before, minus 20 dB with minus 120 RSSI. And this one is strange also. I didn't have any signal. Uh, okay, eight days ago, minus 15, and 15 days ago, minus 11.2. Well, what can I say? I think I will continue the experiment, but I'm not going to bother you with these reports, daily reports, because if the, if the network is working this way, there is nothing for me to say. You know, I just have to wait for, the, for seven days, like I promised, and then we'll talk at the end of the things. In the meantime, I developed a kind of spreadsheets like this, you know, the name of the hotspot, day, time, and numbers for each, for each uh, hotspot I'm receiving. And I can see very clear which is active, which is more active than usually. And I can even write down the, the weather status, you know, sunny or cloudy or uh, any, you know, everything related to, to this. And, uh, I'm going to keep doing that for as long as the experiment is running. But for now, the amplifier is still up there. By the way, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure. I just, I, I, I've been reading around. So if you got any more info, just let me know. I'll keep on running the experiment and I'll let you know at the end of the uh, seven days. So this is number three today. We have four more days to go. 
and then uh, we'll have a report about the first week with an amplifier. Okay, thank you for now. I'll be back with info. Please like, please subscribe, push the button. If there are any comments, if you have any questions, please uh, write them down. I'm doing the best to answer. And uh, of course, don't forget to have fun. Bye-bye.